This is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair Show, and tonight we're here at the 10-year anniversary and grand reopening of Hollywood's Barbershop and Shaving Parlor. The legend himself. Donnie, this is an amazing moment in your life. How do you feel? I couldn't feel better, man. I mean, dreams really do come true, you know? In this economy, in the 21st century, where we're at now with, with taking a stand on having gentlemen only. I just got a proclamation from the mayor today. Came in himself for 10 years of service at Costa Mesa, and he told me that Hollywood's Barbershop is the best business in Costa Mesa. And I said, what? What about Fashion Island and South Coast Plaza? And, all? and he's all, no, everyone comes from all over the world to come to get a haircut from Hollywood's. That brings them into the city. Hey, Donnie's 100% uh, and he's fantastic. And I'm very proud of him and his success. And he deserves all of it. I can't believe it, man. I've been traveling and cutting hair and, and educating people on the vanishing trade of, of the traditional barber shops and barbering. And uh, I've been to Spain and Tokyo and Canada. Uh, I got picked up 100 people to be the face of Dickies for this advertising campaign. And I'm going to have my own Hollywood's Dickies line of clothing out now. I feel real blessed and I'm thankful that uh, I'm being able to create a, a cool work environment, a cool place for patrons to come and relax and be a man for an hour, have a cigar, have a Pabst Blue Ribbon. Man, this is absolutely unbelievable. Who would have thought 10 years ago that the little seed that Donnie planted would grow and be such a huge thing. You know, I've been getting my hair cut from him for probably 12, 13 years. And uh, I'm real proud of him and it's a, it's a beautiful thing. In 2005, we knew we were something special when, uh, I mean, I was actually named Barber of the Year in the USA by an organization called Intercool Fear of America. It's a hair cutting organization and it's real prestige, you know. Donnie brings an essence, some kind of specialness to the barbershop. A lot of people can go for a haircut, shave. Donnie is the best. I've been able to apprentice about 14 people in my day, and, and, and you know, it's, it, it makes them strive harder to be a better barber. And, and being a better barber means do a better haircut, and we do the best haircuts on the planet. I, I don't care. I've been around the world, and, and we take pride in our work. We don't, it's not like, it's not like cattle come in, and, like super cuts or something. You know, get out, get them in, get them out. We take our time, you have a beer, read a Playboy, but it's an experience, man. It's really, it really is. Hot towels go on you. All the lines are shaved with a straight razor. We just brought it back from the old days. I like the neck rub at the end with the massage. I've been pioneering the vanishing trade of barbering, and it's worked. Everyone's trying to be a barber now because of my success, and I love it. Now, you've checked out the inside here. What do you think about it as far as barbershops go? It looks great, man. It's a like kind of like a sanctuary for, for men, and... I think that's that's always a nice thing to have a place to go. Man, your life is a miracle. And yeah, my life really is a miracle, you know. You got some white walls there. You got a that's right. you got a military style hair. Hey, you like it? Which is back, my friend. Yeah, it's yeah. done by Donnie Hollywood in, in Costa Mesa. Oh, excellent. I used this new shop to kind of stay busy and and realize that this is my girl. This shop. Absolutely. It'll never cheat on me. It'll take care of me, and it, it actually it's the only girl allowed in the shop. Yeah. It is the girl. Yeah. It's a men's only club, and I actually kind of love that because a lot of the guys, they need a break from their, their girlfriends or wives, and I think that's a great idea, you know, to like just relax and, you know, just be able to shoot pool. Name the guys in your crew that you trust so well. Eli Justice, about eight years ago, he was going in a different direction, didn't know what he wanted to do. I said, hey, come down to the shop. He learned from nothing. Swept the shop, made appointments, put hot towels in the steamer, filled the lather machine, you know, and he just, he worked his ass off. This is Eli. He actually is Donnie Hollywood's right-hand man, yeah. right? Yeah, yes I am. I mean, he's the most dependable person I've ever met in my life, and he's a blessing, man. Actually, I travel so much and, and do my thing, all the stuff it takes to run this place, and without him being there like a solid rock there, I don't think that... Uh, we would be here actually. Next we have Caesar, who was a customer first and loved what we did and, and all of a sudden you know had a passion for it and paid his dues and he's just amazing. Clientele for him and Eli, they're just, I mean they come from, out of the woodwork from all over the country, all over the world really. Dane, we call him Great Dane, he's, he's one of the newest guys, been with us for about eight months. He has just proved himself, he has a big clientele. He cuts the guys from Green Day, he's cut uh, ultimate fighting champion guys and he's just a great gentleman. Once you sit down in our chair it's what you want when you want it 
and we give the best haircut possible. Uh, we give you a neck shave, a free massage, a hot towel, aftershave, a style, everything you need. It, it's just it's just all in in one place to escape. My helper Finch right now is stepping up and has been with me for two years. Now he's finally doing great cuts, stepping up and he's there, he's worked hard, building the shop. I'm real proud of him. He's got a great, great crew, great shop. What makes Donnie Hollywood a great boss to work for? Um, you know, he's very persistent, you know, he's, he's, he's very ambitious and he's, and he's well driven. And, uh, you know, his, his three favorite words are make it happen, man, and that's just what he does. You come in and you get a haircut and a shave, you, you're treated like a personal friend of these people. And, it, it, and it's just, it's, it's an amazing experience and it's a friendship, really. What I love about Holly's Barbershop is that you can come to a place and you can feel like you can get away from the world, get away from, uh, you know, uh, trouble with your woman. And it's a place where a man can feel like a man. It's not fair, really, how much fun we get to have, making people feel good and look good yeah. and having a great time. And it's just, it's amazing, man. We've carved that out for ourselves. It's always funny when Donnie pulls in like local bums to come in and gives them a free haircut as long as he gets to choose the style. <laughs> so, so it's always it's always an adventure every time you come. What is new about this shop and tell me about the concept of it. It's a place for a man to come and be a man. It's where a man can come and feel at home, you know. Get a hot towel, shave, haircut and comb. Come in for laughs and an ice cold paps and you can enjoy our club made just for chaps. I'm surprised today that I was allowed in this shop because I know no girls are allowed, but today we're celebrating for Donnie. Congratulations on your 10 year anniversary. These days in the 21st century, I have to say it, man, I mean, everything's geared for women. Salons, spas, the all women's workout gym, curves. Some doors are made for men to walk through, and this barber shop that I just built is definitely one of them, man, and we get a lot of respect for that because I took a stand on that and this place is to come, you come in, you can join our VIP club. You have to get your hair cut 10 times here, and then you can join the club. It's $150 for the year. Then you get to go through the fake bookshelf door entrance that I built, kind of Bruce Wayne style, you know? I love it. Walk back here, flat screen, bar, pool table, jukebox, have a cigar, you know, smoking lounge. You know, and we've become our own Hollywood social club. No one's going to provide this atmosphere. No one's going to provide a bar in the back, pool table, stage for some bands. I mean, it's just totally different. No one, everybody could try to copy, but there's only one original, and it's Mr. Holly. I built this place, and guys like Lee Rocker, you know, come in. Jimmy Kimmel, Kiefer Sutherland, wow. Super Steve from K-Rocks here. I just talked to Dwayne Peters tonight. You know, he's filming his next video here. Jason Jesse skateboard pro skateboarders i mean everyone comes here because they know that this is a place they can come and get away from the real world for a while within the economy too we're recession proof man people want to come here to get away from fucking not making money they want to come here and get a haircut to go on job interviews yeah and we're th that's why i built this place thank you for all the haircuts squeezing me in last minute every time and the beautiful Layrite that washes right out. I wouldn't use anything else. I used Murray's for 12 years till the Layrite came. Thank God. Layrite is a great product because you put it in, you can style your hair any way you want to style it. And when it comes down to the time to wash it out, it washes out quickly. Donnie Hollywood, you, congratulations. Blaring out with Eric Blair Show. Thank you, man. Signing off. The Blaring Out Show.